Good morning. This video is from uh, GeoHox Academy on quantitative revolution. As the term quantitative is denoting something which is numeric, calculative, and measurable. So this word is uh, introduced in geography in the early 1950s, which is a statistical and mathematical techniques and gives theorems and proofs in understanding geographical system. This word is firstly used by I. Burton. What is actually quantitative revolution? Quantitative revolution can be defined as the diffusion of statistical techniques in geography to make the subject and its theory more precise. So, question arises, what is the need of quantitative revolution in geography? Um, uh, we will uh, go in history. After Second World War, there was a confusion among geographers about the nature and social relevance of geography. The status of geography as a university discipline was also under discussion. Many scholars believed that geography is not a university subject and many departments of geography at various universities were closed. Continual threat of department closure led to development of new ideas and research programs. This resulted into development of quantitative revolution in geography, which also known as special sciences schools. So, uh, now what is the objective of the quantitative revolution? The objective was to explain and interpret the special patterns of geographical phenomena in a rational, objective and cogent manner. To use mathematical language instead of language of literatures. Like AF in the Copen's classification of climate which stands for the tropical rainforest. Third one is to make precise statements about location order. Fourth, to test hypotheses and formulate model theories and laws for uh, estimations and predictions. Fifth one is to identify ideal location. Ideal location in uh, the form uh, like uh, that so that the profit may, uh, may be maximized by the resource users. So these were the objectives of quantitative revolution. And the, uh, in the formulation of models and techniques, they assume what they assume actually that normative questions have no place in geographical research and scientific explanation of geographical patterns. Uh, means normative questions means uh, cultural values, beliefs, attitudes, customs, traditions, likes and dislikes, prejudice and, and aesthetic values. Uh, they give no place in geographical research and scientific explanation of geographical patterns. Uh, contribution of geographical distributions. Christeller was first made major contribution in locational theory, the study of central place of Germany. Alfred Weber, industrial locational theory. Von Thunen gave crop intensity model and we were crop combination model. He used standard deviation model in his model. Advantages. What was the advantage of this uh, quantitative revolution? First was it was very favorable. Second was can be tested in assumed condition. And third is help in deriving suitable models. What was the disadvantage? No normative questions means they do not uh, uh, take account, account uh, into account the normative questions like beliefs, emotions as uh, I have already told you. Uh, second one is sacrificed many good qualities of qualitative statements. Third one is uh, techniques brings quite exaggerated result. Fourth is demand sophisticated data. which are rarely attainable outside in developed countries. So, we can conclude that uh, quantitative revolution saved geography to be extinct, but without description data is just random collected number, which does not matter in any understanding of geographical patterns or phenomena. Thank you.